Hi! I don't know who's all here, but welcome. Looks like we are live. Looks like we got zero viewers, so I guess nobody's here yet. Okay, let me give Joe this. That's what's up on top of my screen. We got one viewer. Mm, there should be a different one. Hmm. But let me look. I can find it, I bet. Okay. Hi. Oh, that was a big delay. No, that was your welcome video on your YouTube channel. Hi, this is Terry Sproul. Wow, this is Terry Sproul. Hi, this is Terry Sproul. I've heard it. 118 views. I've been 108 of them. <laughs> so up top where you did on air... There's no place next to it that says embed. Is there a link that says embed? Uh, yes. That's the one I want. You have to copy that one. There you go. Uh, nope. Uh, maybe. Wait a minute. I'm on my YouTube. I don't see me live. I know if you do the uh, Terry Sproul. Who me? Oh, that was. I keep trying to. I keep trying to type on my screen. Doesn't the, um, oh good, well welcome Robin, you must be my one viewer, oh, damn it. I'm trying to get my, oh I got a couple more viewers, so welcome, I'm trying to see who you all are. Hope everybody's having a great day. We should be starting here in a couple minutes. I know we are live actually, but um, oh, I can't get my tablet to bring up the uh, chat. Oh well. So tell me everybody, did everybody have a wonderful National Scrapbook Day? I hope so. I had a wonderful time. I was with Charity Wings event all weekend. Um, and um, we um, did a two 12-hour day crop. We had about 45 ladies cropping. It was a lot of fun, a lot of work. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I was glad to come home last night <laughs> and get some rest. It was nice. I hope everybody can hear me well, <clears throat> see me well. So yeah, it was um, it was a fun day. Five viewers. Okay, everybody's starting to pop in now. Because I said not to be here till six, so you guys actually listened. <laughs> We're going to get this down. This is going to work out really well once we get this working really well. I know. I know that this is going to be a good thing. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a um, little bit of uh, happy news. I can tell everybody. Uh, one chatteringrobins.blogspot.com you might want to check that out for a design team call for Robin's Nest. And the design team call is up in one of the top um, uh, tabs, so check that out. What else is going on? Um, 
me and Peg are doing a class on June 1st, I believe it is, with um, the altered pages, actually the Muse box. And then me, Peg, and Joe are doing something with US Art Quest, I believe it is June 8th. So we will start um, advertising that very soon. So watch me on Facebook. If you are not a friend of mine on Facebook, please friend me so that you can get an invite to those events that are coming up. Because they're going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have some really good prizes. So, I mean, U.S. Art Quest products, no matter what you get from them, are absolutely amazing. And if you'd like to check that out, um, that is usartquest.com. And it's usartquest, all one word, dot com. And since we're having a little bit, I can't really put um, links up live. We will be putting links on my um, blog, which is Terry Sprow, one word, dot blogspot, one word, dot com. So please check that out, and I will have all the links on there by the end of the week and a re, you know, um, the video embedded also. So that's how we're going to try to work that out. Uh, what else can I talk to you about while we're getting a few more people in here? Because it's about two after. We got 13 viewers already. So good. A um, couple more. 14 just popped in. Welcome, everybody. I wish I could see your names. That's the only thing I don't like about this is I can't say personally hello. <laughs> That's probably my only complaint about this little group. But it's a bigger screen, and I do like that. So I, and I know all of you do, too, because I had so many comments after last week about how much you guys enjoyed this. So I'm really happy to hear that. Um, I guess the uh, comments do come in in a slight little lag. So if you are a little patient, um, <laughs> that's funny because that's what I just said. <laughs> yes. um, space, YouTube comments does have a little bit of a lag, so be patient on getting your questions at, answered. Joe's going to do his best to answer those questions. If he does not answer the question, please try to put it up in caps. And what he's going to do is we are, me and Joe are connected on this um, Hangout. So he can put questions to me. He has let me know that Angie's here, and Vanessa, and Robert, and your Scrap Attack, and Peg, and Cynthia, and Jen, and Robin. So welcome, Flower Power, and Karen, <laughs> and Heather. And I think it's if it's the right Heather, Heather's birthday's today. So happy birthday, Heather, if it's the right Heather. Um, so I see that you guys are all here. Joe is putting that up for me. So if he doesn't answer a question right away, it's because he's asking me, and I have to watch the little side chat here to get those questions. So be a little more patient with us, but remember it's got the nice big screen. So there's the advantage of, um, you know, coming here on this one. Okay, we're just going to get a few more seconds here, and then we're going to start. I'm getting my desk ready below us, below getting my book open. Hopefully you guys um, thought about how you were going to do this next page that we're going to talk about. If you remember last week, I told you to, on one of the pages, write all that negative stuff that you talk to yourself about. We all do it, because I know I'm one of them. You know, that negative talk, you know, I'm ugly, I, my art sucks, and nobody likes me, I have no friends, all that horrible stuff we talk to each other, uh, uh, talk to ourselves about, that's not true. Um, I hope you got a chance to write all that onto your journal page, and you took some gesso and you covered the whole thing, because that's what I wanted you to do. And that's kind of like putting your negative thoughts out. But then you're going and you're covering them up and you're doing a completely new slate. You know, you're starting over. There's no more negative talk there. And that's where we're going to start tonight in our um, journal is the we're going to get rid of that negative talk and we're going to have more positive stuff that we're going to talk to ourselves. And our journal is going to be a very positive thing. Your art journal should be a positive thing. It should be something joyful and something that you want to go look at and something you enjoy sitting down and doing. 
you know, sitting down and enjoying your journal um, and enjoying doing the pages. So I know that that was probably a little hard to write all that negative stuff, but, you know, it was good to, to wipe it out, I'm sure, too. And if you haven't done that, that's what I want you to do. I am going to go ahead and change cameras now, and we're going to get going. And again, if you're just joining me, um, Joe will help answer all of the questions. So if you do have a question, you can put it in the chat. Um, we are starting to do a hashtag thing, and that hashtag is ATTS050713. And that's basically all things Terry Sproul and today's date, 050713. And so if you are joining us on, say, Google, you can put the hashtags in and Joe will be able to still see your comments. Um, so it kind of pulls in all the comments from all the places that you might be joining me in. Because some of you are joining me in on Google and not just on um, YouTube. So that's kind of how that's going to work. So I hope I explained that. And that's something I just learned today. <laughs> so <laughs> again, be patient because we're learning. Okay, I'm changing cameras, and we're going to get down here and play with the journal. A good part. Okay. This camera is just a little different than it was with the other. Tech. Oh, come on, get. There it goes. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I just got blurry again. Hmm. Huh. Is it blurry on your end? You can't tell me. We'll just, uh, we'll see if it's okay. Yes, blurry. It just froze up, too. It's completely frozen. It's frozen on your end. It's frozen on my end. Frozen. Not good. Why did it freeze? Can you hear me? Try switching again. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, look. Okay, I'm going to switch back and see what happens. Okay, there's me again. Let's try this one more time and see what happens. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We've had really good luck here. And I am on Google. Okay, that looks like it's better. Great, okay, let me pull up this so I can... Okay. I keep forgetting how much bigger this screen is. I've got to clean more of my desk. Ha, ha, ha. So much not fun. Okay, I have already wrote all of my negative stuff over these two pages. And then I went with just plain gesso plain white gesso, and I completely covered my two pages with gesso and got rid of all of that negative talk that I put on there. Now I just want to have fun. We talked last week and we used acrylic paints, and I'm going to continue using acrylic paints, but I'm going to just step it up just a little bit. Now I keep a bottle of plain old water in a spray bottle in my, on my desk, and I'm going to get my page really, really wet. And this is kind of using the acrylic paints in just a little bit different way. As you see, I have put a lot of water on those two pages. And then I'm going to go in with some acrylic paints. And what am I going to use here? I think I'm going to use this. This is just kind of a light lavender. And again, these are all, well, not all of these. Some of these are just really cheapy paints from, um, you know, Michael's or the 49 Centers. Now, I do have some really expensive ones here. I do have some Goldens, and I have some U.S. Art Quest, and uh, Blix, Dick Blix has his own paint, so I've got some of his paint on here. And those are a little more expensive than um, some of the other ones. But again, don't stress out on buying expensive paints or light, you know, whatever paint you have in your house will work. The, the cheap ones are just fine. And again, I'm just throwing some paint on the background here. And then I'm going to come in with more water. I want this really wet. I want these paints to move. And I have a paintbrush here with lots of water on here. 
Again, if you guys have a question, just pop that question up for Joe. If Joe can't answer it, he will um, he will let me know, and I will answer it for you. So the question will get answered somehow, some way. We will answer your question. So I'm just again throwing some, getting my moving my paints around, lots and lots of water. My background is very very wet. And I just grab some general colors, whatever you, you know, like. You can use whatever colors you want. Again, my paintbrush is very wet. I'm moving lots and lots of paint around. Very wet. And if it starts drying out, you spray it some more. I don't see any questions so far from Joe, so I guess either he's getting them or you guys are doing just fine. And again, I'm going to put all the links up for you guys who have joined me just in the last few minutes. I'm going to put all of the links for all of the products I use on my on my um, blog, which is terrysprow.blogspot.com. So that's where you'll want to uh, go, and I'm going to try to have them up by, say, the end of the week at the absolute most latest, but probably even sooner than that. So I've got some good paint going on here, and I've got it really wet. I'm even going to do this. This is going to probably scare a few people, but watch this. I'm going to close them, and I'm just going to let them smash together, open them back up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that fun? I like, see how, in, I mean, instantly you got just a really cool effect. And you can put more water on it and get it even smearing a little more and moving a little more if you want. If you think you've got too much going on there and you're not liking what you got going, um, you can come in with a, a paper towel and just dab. That dabbing makes a big, really cool effect also. So again, we kind of did this a little bit last week, but we're working with a little bit more water this week. Now, what's also fun, at this point, I can come in and bring colors in with, say, markers or even gelatos. You can get gelatos over at alteredpages.com. And here I just moved that paint around. I like the way that looks. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to dry it just a tad bit, not a whole lot. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's still a lot of water on that page. So this is still very wet. Now you can take, these are the fiber castell markers, and they will, if you put them on and the background's wet, you can smear them. See that? Now if the background's not wet, they will not smear so much. If the background's too wet, you get very little color. So you got to kind of play with that somewhat. Um, also, if you have, say, Tim's markers, have you seen the distressed markers yet? The stress markers will do the same thing because, as you know, Tim's stuff is all um, water-based. So you can come in with his markers and put some color in there and, and smear that around. But if it's too wet, which my page is right now too wet, it won't grab the color. So I got to dry up here just a little bit. See, we've got a few more people, so I want to welcome you all. I apologize, but this is the only bad part about doing a journaling class is you really do got to have some dry time. But you guys understand. I really like the gold paint I put in right there. I really like that. I think I might come back and put some more in a little later.
Okay. Actually, I have some gold gelato here. This is the gelatos. And because, remember, my page is still wet, I can come in and put these gelatos in here really easily because they're still wet. The page is still wet, and they'll smear out really nicely. These gelatos are a lot of fun. They're kind of like a crayon. They've, they're... Um, and you can get these over at Altered Pages. You can also get these at Michael's. Um, if you don't have gelatos, you know, at your, you know, you live out of country or something, because I know a lot of you do that watch my show, you can, um, you don't necessarily have to use gelatos. Try playing with some of your markers and see what it does. I like this. It almost looks like it's marble in the background here, and I've got this little gold coming up through there. See that? Doesn't that look cool? I like that. I know you guys are all answering me because you're used to me being able to talk to you, huh? <laughs> I'm going to kind of do that same thing over here to get that gold streak going through there. Yeah, I agree, Joe, but I'm going to go a little... Um, that's something that I will bring in in the future. Remember, I'm going to kind of build on these classes. Joe was just saying that, and I agree with him, that if I brought some, like, mica powders in here, or you can do all kinds of other things. Now, I'm trying to do these classes a little slow, so I'm going to build on things. Last week, we basically just did um, acrylic paints. This week, I'm trying to show you just a little more um, just using the acrylic paints and just a little more. But definitely, you guys who are a little more experienced using Mica Delights at this point that would really bring out some cool stuff. Or actually, I would probably, honestly, Joe, I'd probably wait a few more steps and bring the Mica Delights in towards the end and really make them pop. So I'm going to dry just a little bit more here. And then I want to do a drip technique. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. So let me just get a little more color going, or a little more light. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to grab my acrylic um, page. Or even if you have, like some of you have one of these at home, or you can even have, say you didn't have one of these, say you have um, even just a, a um, paper plate would work. I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to use this dark purple. No, 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 I'm going to use this one. This is, um, this is a more expensive paint. This is from Golden. But again, don't stress out on what I'm using. You can use anything your little heart desires. And what I did is I put just a drop of paint down into the bottom of my little um, tray here. And then I added a lot of water because I want to make this really runny. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up that paint with a very wet paintbrush and I'm going to, oh, let me get in the way here. Huh, hold on. I gotta figure out how I can get this light, this camera to work so you can see what I'm doing. Because this is a really cool technique. I'm gonna tilt this way. Okay, that'll work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go right along the edge up there. See that? And I'm tilting it purposely because I want it to drip. See the drips? See, that's what, exactly what I want it to do. So that's why you want a very wet paintbrush and very wet paint when you do this. And just let it drip. Now i got to bring this a little bit towards me, and I know I might go out of the screen a little bit. I apologize, but I need this to drip right for me. So I'm going to drip. And if it's not moving fast enough for you, you can take water and spray it again. Because remember, we're using lots of water for tonight's technique in acrylic paints. So see that now? Look how cool that's looking. Hope you guys can see that. See that? Look at that. I love it. Okay, I'm going to let that drip a little further. And I ran out of paint in my little brush, my little spot over here, so I'm going to make some more. Again, ah, don't want you on there. Just a little drop of uh, paint down in the bottom and a lot of water. I dropped my water too. 
So see how watery that is? Very watery. And then a very wet paintbrush. So I have water, um, a bowl of water in the back here. So this paintbrush is very wet. Now this time you might not be able to see it as well because I'm going to go from the opposite end. So I want it to drip into each other. See that coming towards you? So I know, so you can see the same thing I did last time. But I'm doing it from the other end. So that's what that looks like. Doesn't that look cool? I love this idea. I'm going to dry that real quick so I can do the other page. And you could actually move it also with your, uh, yeah, I'm moving it with my heat gun. Move. Look at that. See that move? And you can make it go the other way. You could, uh, you know, say you wanted to streak it a little bit this way. That's a little too dry now. It ain't moving anymore. Okay, that's dry enough that I can do the other side now. So you see how that's looking in the background now, right? You got that? Isn't that looking cool? Do you like it as much as I do? I do. I like it. And you don't have to go with this darker colors. You could go with um, white gesso works really well too because it becomes kind of translucent. So I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the other page here. Very wet brush, very wet paint, and making it move. Move, baby, move. Okay, a little more there. So there it goes. It's moving for me now. Again, I'm going to get it a little wetter so it moves a little quicker. It's not moving quick enough for me. There we go. And I usually do try to make my two-page, if I'm doing a two-page spread like this, um, a little bit equal on each side. If I have the streaks going on one side, I will put it on the other side. So I like that. Smash it, squish it, ready? Joe's telling me to squish it, so squish. Ooh. <laughs> that turned out cool, too. <laughs> See, that's what's having fun about your journals. Just go for it. Don't stress out. If all else fails and you absolutely hate what you did, which I have never had that happen, but say it does happen to you, you can put gesso over it. I mean, there is no stress in this, guys. Have fun. Okay, let me dry a little more so I can go to the next technique. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is using some stencils. Stencils are an absolute blast to use on your uh, pages. I've got all kinds of really cool ones. A lot of mine are from um, the crafty, the craft warehouse. I really love their stencils. Actually, I did get some new ones though over at Alter Pages and they're from, um, what's his name? Um, 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 Andy Skinner. Here they are. Got some new ones from Andy Skinner. And these were over at Altered Pages. And there's some masks. And um, she's got some really cool ones. I really like this one. And I got I got this one. I love the skulls. See that skull one? And then I got, I love, 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 love this one. Hope you can see. Look at that one. Isn't that going to be cool for Halloween? Like, 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 like that one. So she's got some new ones over there, and then she does have um, some from the Crafters Warehouse also. This is a new one I just got from her, just, matter of fact, today in the mail. So she's got some great stencils. The couple that I'm going to use tonight 
is I really love these circle ones. And for you guys who do not have stencils, I am going to quickly show you how to make your own stencils. You can use any type of transparency. This is a transparency. I know you can't see because it's transparent, but it really is a transparency. See that? You can take any type of punch or die cut or anything you want and make your own transfers. I mean, your own, um, um, like I said, stencils. Make your own stencils. Um, if you don't have any die cuts or punches, um, Crafters Workshop, yes. Uh, if you don't have any of those things, you could um, cut your own out with an um, X-Acto knife. I actually have this one hole punch that is an actual square, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to make my own stencil that was a square because I have a bunch of them that are, are circles, but what about a square one? And I'm just randomly punching um, some square, out some squares into this stencil, and probably what I should have done is cut it out so I could have made a bigger area, but I didn't think of that to just now. But I'm and getting a really cool, I'm trying not to go over the same holes, and I want it random, so I have a very random, and it's going to be hard for you to see, but a very random, oh, you can see that perfect right there, random hole punch, um, uh, yeah, and also the zing, that's, thank you, Joe, that's a good one, the zing, if you guys, um, I know I've talked to you guys about the zing die cut machine before. The Zing has, definitely has um, the ability to do stencils for you also. So there's lots of ways for you to make your own stencils without having to buy them, including even making them practically for free. So think about it. And if, say, you don't even have a transparency, you can use um, packaging from um, a, um, something that you got in the mail. You know what I'm saying? That, that plastic um, packaging that comes on all kinds of, um, you know, packaging that we get, you know what I'm saying, that hard package. You could use that to um, make your own stencils with. So you wouldn't even have to buy anything. If you really think about it, you can do it. I just took some a regular acrylic paint. I laid my handmade stencil down here, and I'm just going to go right into those holes and put some color onto the back with that stencil. This gives you great texture. So this is my handmade stencil. See that? Look at those dots. Oh, you, can you see those dots? I'm hoping so. Here's some more right here. I'm going to put some more right here. Again, I'm just going filling in those stencil holes. And there's some more dots. And those are, that was actually squares. Let me give you another idea. Say you only have a pencil. You take your paint, acrylic paint, you put your end right into the pencil, and you can make circles. If you don't have a pencil that's brand spanking new, like this one, you can use the eraser on the opposite side. So there really is lots of ways that you can come up with on how to use you know, um, something without having to buy it. Now, I am going to be able to get you guys tonight, if you buy anything over at Altered Pages before Mother's Day, which is the 12th, you will get three collage sheets for free from them. And that is alteredpages.com. And I'm just putting random dots everywhere. And what my theme is going to be tonight is plant pos excuse me plant positive seeds. That is my absolute favorite saying. I say that saying all the time, and um, that's why I wanted you to write all that negative stuff down and then cover the page up, because now we're going to go in and plant some positive seeds and do some positive stuff on here. Not that we haven't done positive stuff already. Look how pretty this page is already. I punched out some flowers. Actually, before I do that, I apologize. I want to do something else. I 
as you guys know, I do altered books also. So I always rip pages out of my altered books. I always keep my pages. These things are fantastic to use. I am going to just rip some tape, um, general stuff out of this, and I'm going to glue it to my background. Now, as far as gluing it to your background, you can use either gel medium or glue stick. Or, you know, if you pay, um, perfect paper, PPA, works, works absolutely fantastic. That is from US Art Quest, which again is usartquest.com. Their stuff works absolutely wonderful. But again, if you're not have a lot of money, because I know a lot of my customers here don't have a lot of money, you can use just a plain old glue stick. And I'm just putting some glue onto the back of this, nothing special, and gluing it in random spots on my sheet. And this is going to give me more texture in the background. So this is another really cheap way of getting some great texture on your background without having to spend any money. For you guys who um, have a big supply of art stuff, you wouldn't have to necessarily use a page um, the pages like this. You can, a lot of times I keep my water journal, my um, watercolor pad, my watercolor pad, and I will pull a sheet of paper out here and I will do techniques on this. And a lot of times I will take those techniques and rip them up and use them for pieces in my journal for later. So if you're trying to do something new, it's a great way to do it on that watercolor paper and then you can come back later and um, you know use that on something else even if you didn't like it once you rip it up <laughs> it usually looks pretty good so that's a great way to do things um, is to use watercolor and the reason I use the watercolor paper is because it's a very um, thick um, it's usually quite a few pounds like this one is 90 pounds my art journal, thank you, Joe. My art journal is actually 140 pounds. So this, um, the bigger the, the weight of pa um, paper, the more stuff it can take, the more it can get wet. So obviously watercolor or mixed media journals can take a lot of moisture and a lot of, a lot of stuff. Now, just like we did last week, I am going to come in with um, some acrylic paints and my finger. And I do got to get moving here, and I'm just going to do a little bit of um, coloring on these uh, these pieces of uh, um, book that I just put down, just to add some color to it because it's standing out just a little too much right now. We need it to blend into the background. So again, tonight we're just basically not stepping too far out of the table. We will, as this um, series goes on. I am going to continue to add more and more stuff to these pages. And again, if you don't have the products I have, don't stress. Figure out a new way to use it. Come out with a different way. I punched out a bunch of flowers from my book pages also. Just using a basic punch, flower punch. Um, and I am going to... I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put plant positive seeds on this side. And then I'm going to make this a garden over here is I think what I'm going to do. And what I did, and I'm going to finish up seeds, is I have some basic letter stamps. And again, say Terry, Terry, I don't have letter stamps. What do you do? That's why I was talking to you about doing the magazines. Remember I said to start collecting magazines? You know, Better Homes and Gardens? There's a B, there's an E, there's a T, there's a T. You know what I mean? You can cut letters out from here and use them instead of stamps. So, again, if you're on a budget, don't trip out on all these supplies I use. Because towards the end, we are going to get into some really cool mediums. So, um, you know, if you can... If you want to learn, you, you'll be able to learn some really cool stuff from me. If you can't afford it, you know, I understand, and you can just 
you know, go from, you know, do what you can with the products that you can. I am off to the side here. Oh, yeah, you can see me. I am just gluing up my paper flowers, and I'm going to start making my garden over here. Now, last week, we did come in with some stamps and um, do some more in the background. And normally, I probably would do that, but we're getting down in time, so I'm trying to rush this a little bit so I can kind of somewhat finish this tonight on air. Oh, ripped my flower. <laughs> we're not going to use that one because I just ripped them. Well, maybe I can still use them. Hey, yeah, I'm making a half a flower, huh? That works. <laughs> there is no wrong, right? You know that rule. There's no wrong in, in um, altered art. So you could definitely do the same technique because we're going to next week probably use tissue paper. Soon I'm going to be using tissue paper. Maybe next week. Okay. Now again, those flowers are just a little way too bright. You know, they're standing out too much, so I'm going to have to come in with some paint. And I'm going to put some silver on my background here. My finger, and I'm going to come in and color those flowers in with some acrylic paint. And if you don't want to use your fingers, you could use a paintbrush, but, you know, I think inky fingers are happy fingers. I believe that strongly, but I do know people who don't like to get their fingers inky. And that's okay. Do what makes you happy. Now, on this side over here, I have planned on putting, I had um, stamped out onto, again, those book background, you know, the book sheets, plant, and I did positive. I thought I was going to try to have time to do seeds on, on air, but let's see. So I want to plant, and I'm sorry this is upside down for you guys. Positive. Okay. And then put this on my lap real quick and I'll do seeds for you. And I just use plain old um, stays on, not only because that was what I had on my desk. But you probably wouldn't have to worry about doing anything too bad deeply unless, okay. Now this you do have to remember. If you are planning on putting these down, these words down, and then you wanted to go over that with um, a lot more water mediums, then you definitely would want to make sure that you use stays on. Okay, where's my E? A, B, C, D. Da, da, da. How did I not grab my E? Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at this. I bought all those letters and I forgot my E. Okay. Give me three seconds, guys. I know this is rude. Bad, bad for me. I should have double checked this. Hmm. Okay, I don't even see E in my uh, in my book. So guess what? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna do what I told you guys to do. I'm gonna go in here and find some letters. I'll try to find E later. Oh yes. Thank you, Joe. That's a great one. Um, if you guys get a chance when you're on Facebook, go to Joy of Stamping um, on Facebook, and there that is an amazing product. Joyofstamping.com. That's probably what hey, that's what I should give as a prize this week. This week, what I'm going to do while I'm looking for some ease here, I am going to. Um, 
I'm not going to stress on this. I'm going to do this my way. I am going to give away a stamp cleaner or hand cleaner. So what I'm going to do on that is I want you to post your pages like you guys have been doing. Thank you very much on that. On my um, page, All Things Terry Sproul. That's too wet. And that's on Facebook. And everybody who posts something this week will get entered in. Will get entered in to win some hand cleaner from Joy of Stamping for next week. And I will give that out at the beginning of the uh, show next week. So if you would like to be entered to win, and I did plant positive seeds, and I did seeds just in basic um, red, Faber Castell pens. These are Indian ink pens from Faber Castell, but you can get them over at Altered Pages. Can you give me an idea of time there, Joe? Please. And then I'm going to come in with my black pen. I told, showed you guys this last week using the black and the red. Thank you, Joe using the black and white pens to get some color going in your um, sheets. Now one way that you could do that would be fun on these letters here is to come through and oh, just squirt it all over my hand and go say right around the edge of these letters, of the um, words. And that will make that stand out. Also, coming in and doing around these flowers. And bringing those out. I also want to put some positive words on here. Boy, see, I got nice inky fingers. Aren't those happy fingers? My pen exploded on me. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, no. I have some really cool letters, it's um, words that say like beautiful and elegant and these are all from, from Sin City Scraps and they're on the same um, plate that the mannequins are on. I love those mannequins. And I am going to stamp those positive words because remember we were talking about having all that negative stuff using some stays on ink right on top of my flowers. See? Beauty. So that one says beauty. Here's another one. So I'm going right on top of my flowers with some positive words. Because remember, this whole page is all, and that one says strength. Because we know that I have, be I'm beautiful and I have strength. No comment, Joe. <laughs> He's running up to his keyboard to comment to me. Because we know how beautiful and how <laughs> yeah, you're being good. Yeah. Trust. So there's all positive words that I'm putting all over my um, flowers there. And I know that's a little hard for you to see, but let's see if I can turn this around and zoom that in a little bit for you. And I can come in and make that a little, see that? See, I'm putting positive words. I need an S on seeds. Thank you. I, this is a funny joke, guys, and this really is no lie. I have the toughest time with making words plural for some reason. So I joked that as a child, I must have been chased by a large S as a child because for some reason, that every time somebody edits anything from me, it's always my S's at the end of words. So as a child, I had to have been chased by a large S. I just I'm positive of it. My ch my mother beat me with a large S. <laughs> there's there's my 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 sadness in the world. So there we go. Again, I would come in with my black markers, and I'd come in with my white markers, and I'd come around the edge of that. There's my white one. Where's my black one? And I would come in and do some more shading around these words to make them stand out. Come in with the E, 
see how instantly this is going to bring these words out. See that? Isn't that amazing? Instantly how the, those, those letters came out. And again, I would come over here and get around these flowers to bring the flowers out. I might come in and put some stems in there with either a paintbrush or even, um, you know, who knows what I want to use. I'm going to pour some paint out here and use a paintbrush and make some stems. So, and I'm going to put more seat, uh, more, uh, more pretty flowers in there because I'm going to want more. Plant positive seeds. Oh, there's my black pen. Come here with the black pen also and get some highlights going. I talked to you guys last week about doing that shading and um, where your light is and think about that when you do your pages. See how much that came out? I really like the way that looks. So that's turning out really nice. Thank you. So we're getting towards the end. We've only got about 14 minutes left. And then again, you can even come around these uh, where I did all this little sketching here with the uh, um, the paper and get some color in there and, and and you can even blend it out if it's too highlighted and just see how that's going to bring out the edge there so you can really play with this and the more you put on the more and more and more you put on it really doesn't overdo it sometimes you think it does and it really doesn't I could come in here with these stencils and bring in the actually the gelatos again. Using any of these stencils, you can use a whole lot of the stencil or just a little bit of it. And see how that just gave me just a little bit of that highlight there? It's not overdone, but it's just a little bit. You can hear the markers on the page. That is amazing how great that sound is. I'm going to do that one more time over here. Because a lot of times, okay, if you guys remember doing the altered pages, I mean, excuse me, when we did the altered books, when I taught you how to do collages, I told you how to, um, when you do things, to do it in threes. So since I put it over here, I want to put it over here. I want it to match in the page. I don't want it to, I want it to look like it's all one layout. So we talked about that when we did the, um, the altered books series. So this, anything that we did in the altered book series, just for an FYI guys, you can do in the altered, um, excuse me, on art journals. So it's all basically the same design. It really is the same technique. Oh, I like that. Oh, that looks so cool. And again, with gelatos, you could come in and smear that out a little bit if you don't want it as strong. You know, the here I'm I'm smearing this out a little bit and it's it's not as strong as it was, but it's still a very cool technique. And here it's a little more strong. Again, I can smear that out a little. Bring the uh, make it more of a blending instead of a strong technique. See that? Sorry, I'm getting excited. I did learn and got some really cool ideas this weekend that we will be using in the future of some really neat techniques also. Oh, I like that. I like those sun stencils. Didn't that turn out cool? I'm really happy with that. Okay, we're getting down. There's a yes. Well, I get the third one, didn't I? One, two, three. So I got three now, 11 minutes. Yes, we're getting down to the last few minutes here. So I'm just going to do a few more things and then we will uh, quit and quit up tonight. Um, I think I need some more dots. I think, I think I need more dots. 
So again, I just have my paint on to a little palette here, and I'm using the uh, pencil technique. I love this technique. Remember last week we did the um, toilet paper, so if I actually had a toilet paper roll close by, I could add that in there also. Okay, me likey. Me likey. Again, I would, and I'm going to come in here and do a little more detail work after this goes off for tonight, and I will actually post it on my um, blog when it's actually finished, finished. So I'm going to come in here and fix up a few more things. I want to add a few more flowers down here. And I'm going to put a little more, bring in a little more highlighting around these flowers because they're just not popping enough for me yet. So I would definitely be doing some more of that to help bring them out. And then I'm going to add more positive words and say you don't have stamps that have positive words. So see that brought that one out really nice. Um, what you could do is you could come in and write your own positive words in there. You know, that you are beautiful and that all those positive seeds that you would be doing instead of all that negativeness that we put on there in the end. So real quickly, I'm going to throw out and see if anybody has any questions. And um, while you guys are typing out some questions that Joe might be able to ask to me, I am going to quickly talk to you guys about... Um, Joe's toy. This is the best toy, guys. OMG. Love this thing. Let me see if I can scoot this in a little bit. And Joe will put up any questions if you guys have anything. Okay. This tool, if you guys are um, use wire or jewelers, you need to tell your jeweler friends about this tool. This is the best tool in the world. You can use head pins. You can use just plain old wire. Um, it's real simple to use. You have this little nut, um, uh, what do I want to call that, um, like nub sticking out right there. There's a hole right there. You put your wire through the, that hole, just like that, and you squeeze, and it, it finishes the hole, the, does a loop for you. See that loop? See that? Um, yes, got that. It'll make a perfect loop for you every time instantly. And what Joe has done for you, and I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to cut that one off. And this is how quick it is. Again, I'm going to put it through there, through the other end. And you don't necessarily have to put it through that other end. You squeeze, twist around just a little bit, take it off, perfect loop every time. If you go to... Um, createandcraft.com and you put, order one. He does have them. It's about two weeks before you're going to get them right now because they are on back order. But if you order it now and use the coupon code Terry Rocks. Oh, sorry. Change the co coupon code. The coupon code is no, I know. The coupon code is now Terry. Oh, it is Terry Rocks. Okay. <laughs> You're confusing me, Joe. The coupon code is Terry Rocks, and, <laughs> and um, we uh, Joe will give you free ship shipping on that tool. You will get this guy for free shipping, except for international, just U.S. only, um, for free shipping. But it will be about two weeks before you get it. So, but you tell me your friends. You tell your friends they want this. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras since I didn't see any questions and passed. Well, did you see? I did learn one thing. Did you see that I put my name down there? See, I'm learning, guys. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, I'm easily excited. I actually learned other things too, but I won't play with those tonight. <laughs> I want to thank you again for joining me tonight. Um, 
the um, I really hope you enjoyed my class and that you continue to do some art journaling remember to join my group on Facebook all things Terry Sproul put your pages up that you do in your art journal to be entered to win um, some hand cleaner from joy of scrap um, joy of stamping sorry and also if you get a chance if you can go over to sin city scraps and buy the journaling set of stamps because we will be using those again more in the future I want to thank you very much for joining me and I hope you join me again next Tuesday as we continue in our art journaling class thanks again <music>